Happy All Saints Day! And what is this video all about? Today we're going to be celebrating All Saints Day by doing a wonderful Divine Mercy manicure and prayer. So please stay tuned after the manicure because we're going to be praying the Chapel of Divine Mercy together and it's going to be super fun. So yeah. So let's get started decking out our nails for All Saints Day. I gotta remove my current manicure, so uh, let's grab some uh, cotton balls. So I'm gonna go ahead and take one cotton ball, and this is how I rip it up in five pieces. And then I'm gonna put some just Cutex normal nail polish remover, and uh, put on my silicone nail Dollar Tree silicone nail soakies that I love using, and soak that for mm -hmm, seven to ten minutes. And after I've removed all of my nail polish, I'm gonna go ahead and grab some Blue Cross cuticle remover that I've actually put in this easy dispense bottle. I'm gonna put that around my cuticles and then I'm gonna grab my well I kind of let that like soak in for like five seconds and then I grab my metal cuticle pusher make sure to be very careful when you're using a metal cuticle pusher because it can be very rough you should probably just use an orange wood stick if you're a beginner after I'm done with the cuticle remover I go ahead and grab some white distilled vinegar and I clean my nails off with that I don't like to leave cuticle remover on my nails and also white distilled vinegar it kind of acts like a nail dehydrator it preps your nails and gets them ready and then I grabbed a lint free cloth and just wiped off my nails. I love these lint free cots. They work really well. And now we're moving on to the super fun part, which is the Beatles nail tips that I will be using now. They're not actually nail tips. I guess you can make them into nail tips, but they're full coverage uh, fake nails. So I don't really understand that. All you have to do is just kind of find your right size. You don't want it too big or you don't want it too small. So it just, if it's too small, it pops off right away. If it's too big, then it's not like in here right. Um, but these beetle nail fake nails are just great. I love these. So I went ahead and I uh, picked out five of them, some nice ones. And then I'm gonna take my nail file, and I'm going to take off the little kind of little duder. It's kind of just a sharp little piece of plastic at the end. And after I do that, I'm gonna grab my small barrel drill, and then I'm gonna buy buy apparently <laughs> grab my melody susan cordless drill i did a whole review on this and if you haven't seen that video i'll link it up in the i button but oh my goodness is this thing powerful i'm gonna go ahead and just uh you know kind of rough up the uh, underside where the fake nail touches my nail um because then it will kind of stick better you know with the glue and everything so i'm just gonna go quick do that speaking of glue i'm gonna grab my kiss nail glue that i got from dollar tree i really like the kiss nail glue i that's like then my go-to nail glue. And I'm gonna go ahead and put that on the fake nail. I'm gonna put generous amount, not like like over a lot, just a generous amount. And then I'm gonna put some uh, nail glue on my nail, but I'm gonna mainly focus it in the middle of my nails, not really on the sides of my nails, cause it will pull too much <laughs> if you put too much on the sides of your nail. And then I'm gonna grab the fake nail and I'm just gonna press it on and just hold it there. I'm not gonna just like hold it like really tight on there or something like that. Um, I'm just gonna press it on there. You wanna make sure that you picked the fake nails that don't just like you have to put on really hard like they don't fit you they're too small so you gotta push really hard because then that just puts stress on the glue and then it kind of just pops off so make sure you got a good fit and fake nail there now that we've applied our wonderful fake nails I'm going to be grabbing my Melody Susan Black Gel Polish. Yes, in this video I'm going to be using gel polish because I feel like I can really blend and make the design that I want to make. I'm very excited about this manicure because I'm going to be using the water decals that I had customly made for it, so I'm super excited. Also, I painted all of my nails black. They're really long and they do not want to fit in my little Travis size lamp. So you can see me trying to get my nails in there, but I need some white gel polish to paint on my middle finger because the details not going to show on black gel polish. So I had to paint over one of my nails um, with white to put the decal on it because the decal is not going to show up on black. So yeah, so I forgot to paint one of them white, but I fixed it because you can just paint right over it. And then after I got my colors in order, I'm going to go ahead and grab just some alcohol just to take off that sticky layer that is always on gel because I don't, I don't want to deal with that. And I am super excited for this part because it's the decals that I had custom made from somebody on eBay. I don't know, I paid them about two bucks and they make these custom decals and aren't they absolutely beautiful? And of course we're going to be using the Divine Mercy picture, isn't it so gorgeous? So I'm going to go ahead and place it in some water. I just leave it in for there for like 20 seconds. And then I take my tweezer, I take it out of the water, and I put it on a nice jelly stamper that I showed you here before. It's a nice clear one. But then I kind of put it on the Cricut and I was like, oh my goodness, I put it on their Cricut. Cricket, huh? <laughs> Crooked. So I went ahead and gr actually I could pick it up again because these decals, they are not like some decals are just really fragile and they just fall apart, but these are not. They're quite sturdy. So I went ahead and repositioned it on the jelly stamper and then I went to go stamp it on my nails and I stamped it 
cooking. And I was like, no, I'm sorry. I'm doing the best job here, okay? Jesus only gets the very best. My Lord gets the best. So I went ahead and took it off again, peels it off, which kind of was kind of scaring me because I'm like, oh my goodness, don't rip. But it didn't rip. And I went ahead and put it back on the jelly stamper, tried to put it on there very straight. And then I stamped it on, tried to be very discernment when I stamped it on. And I think it turned out really good. I think I stamped it pretty straight, pretty nice. Now that we've applied the probably the nicest decal I have ever owned on my middle finger, Finger, it's time to paint well not paint but design the other black fingers in this manicure so I'm gonna do the rays of light that are coming from Jesus Sacred Heart in the Divine Mercy picture which is white and blue and red so and with a mix of gel polishes I will be using I'm gonna do white first and then I'm gonna put the red on the left side and then some blue gel polish on the right side it's all about kind of mixing it and when to cure it like I put the white on I cured it I put the red on I cured it and then I put the light blue on and then I cured it in the lamp and then I went back in with a darker blue that's farther away from the most sacred heart so it would be a little darker. This Born Pretty gel that I'm using right here is absolutely uh, gorgeous. I reviewed it in my other video and I just fell in love with it. The one thing that I love about doing nail art with gel polish is you can just blend it and it just works. It's just it's just a lot easier. You can definitely do this mani with normal nail polish of course and I consider doing it but I want to do blend some gels. Top coat let's hit it. Yep I'm going to be using matte top coat because we all know that black polish looks great when it's matte. Well everybody this is how we started out the video and then we got some fake nails and some decals later and here we go. Oh my goodness this is probably the nicest manicure that I have ever done and I might be biased because um, Jesus is on my nails right now um, but oh my goodness. Now let's move on to Divine Mercy prayer. Pray the Divine Mercy with me. You're gonna need your rosary. I'm gonna be using help from the DivineMercy.org. Tells you exactly how to pray it so you don't forget any of the words and exactly how to sign the cross and everything. And I will put a link to this website down in the description box down below if you want to check it out. And that's all you need, so let's get started. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. O oh Jesus, eternal truth, our life, I call upon you and beg of you for your mercy for poor sinners. O oh sweetness, heart of my Lord, full of pity and unfathomable mercy, I plead with you for the poor sinners. O oh most sacred heart, fountain of mercy, which gush forth rays of unfathomable grace upon eternal human race. I beg of you the light of poorness, O Jesus, mindful of our own bitterness, passion, and do not permit the lost souls redeemed. So at the dear price of your precious blood, Jesus, with I consider the great price of your blood, I rejoice at the immensity for one drop alone would have been enough for this Savior of all sins. Although sin is an abyss of wickedness and ingratefulness, the prices paid for us can never cool. Therefore, let every soul trust in the passion of the Lord and place its hope in his mercy. God will not deny his mercy to anyone. Heaven and earth may change, but God's mercy will never be exhausted. Oh, with an immense joy burns in my heart. Let your incomprehensible goodness, O oh Jesus, I desire to bring all sinners to your feet. May be glorified and mercy throughout endless ages. Expired Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls, and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O fountain of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself upon us. O blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, as in earth and is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us for our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and he descended into hell. On the third day again, he rose from the dead, and he ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty, where he would come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer you the body, blood, soul, and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, and the atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. 
For the sake of our sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body, blood, soul, and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body, blood, soul, and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body, blood, soul, and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body, blood, soul, and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and the whole world. Eternal God, whom mercy is endless, and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible, look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us, that in difficult moments we may not despair nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will which is love and mercy in itself. O greatly merciful God, infinite goodness, today all mankind calls out from its abyss of misery to your mercy, to your compassion, O God. And it is with mighty voice of misery that we cry out. O gracious God, do not reject the prayers of this 
earth exile. O Lord, goodness beyond our understanding, who are acquitted with our misery through and through, and know that by your power we can send to you, we implore you, anticipate us with your grace and keep on increasing your mercy in us, that we may be faithful to you in your holy will all throughout our lives and at death's hour. Let the omnipotency of your mercy shield us from the dart of our salvation's enemy that we may with great confidence as your child await your son's final coming and the days known to you alone. And we expect to obtain everything promised by Jesus in spite of all of our wretchedness. For Jesus is our hope through his mercy and full heart as open gates we pass through to heaven. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I hope you have a wonderful All Saints Day. Never underestimate the power of saying the Chaplain of Divine Mercy because us, me, you, the world, we all need mercy. And where did this Divine Mercy picture come from? Me and my sister collaborated and both painted it. How did we do? Of course, the rear one is huge, so we scaled it down and I wish we wouldn't have. I wish I had just had a giant picture of the Divine Mercy, but we had to be in our comfort zone and paint it smaller.